It's a mixed bag this week as multinationals, migration and state visits dominate. Welcome to the agenda. I assume that there will be some questions that I don't know the answer to and I'm going to call on them. Can you imagine paying thousands in tax when in fact you earn millions and even billions? Well, naming and shaming the big ones is part and the parcel of the war against multinationals and their tax avoidance schemes. Facebook is the latest big bucks company to agree to pay the British government millions in tax after years of criticism. Back in Brussels, the European Parliament spearheaded a Europe-wide movement for a common consolidated corporate tax base. The EU's executive have followed through with a new proposal. While those rules are finalised at the Parliament on Monday, MEPs will talk with tax representatives and on Tuesday, there will be talks with representatives from IKEA, McDonald's, Apple and Google at the Tax Committee. A deal with Turkey was heralded by German Chancellor Angela Merkel as a potential breakthrough in the migrant crisis. But here in Strasbourg, MEPs say that politicians are playing with people's lives. The former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia, Slovenia and Austria have all put up temporary borders to stop refugees spilling en masse from Greece. As a result, Greece was forced to stop refugees coming to the mainland from islands. With the situation at a precipice, was the deal with Turkey the right move? Or can a long-advocated holistic approach be the rub? On Wednesday, the Civil Liberties Committee will vote on the draft report. And now for some news in brief. We agreed to work on the basis of the following principles. EU leaders are just in to deal with Turkey on the refugee crisis and make concessions for its potential membership of the EU. On Tuesday, MEPs will vote on the Turkey Progress Report linked to that very agreement. Also look out for another EU summit on Thursday and Friday next week attended by President Martin Schulz. Poor health, old age and lack of care. On Monday, the Legal Affairs Committee holds a hearing looking to push for EU rules to better protect the most vulnerable. Does the law across the EU protect the rights of minors accused or suspected of a crime? A vote to ensure that minors have access to legal justice takes place on Monday. A vote to back an institutional deal on the technical pillar of the fourth railway package takes place on Tuesday. And finally, Tuesday we'll see a state visit from a near neighbour. From which country? Moldova. And later on in the week, the King of Jordan will also pop into the Parliament. And that's all we have this agenda. Take care and enjoy the week.